biggest takeaway for you guys as a team, the Cowboys, how the season ended and what you guys can bring into 2023? I always just got to, you know, of course, add more weapons. I feel like in that situation, we could always be better. You know, it's never enough. We can never run out of ammo. And, uh, man, we just got to finish. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back, like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? How y'all feeling? You know what I was thinking about? You know, it's that time of year, like I said in previous videos, where your mind's just going everywhere with the team. There's still a lot of things in flux. We still got coaches to hire. We still don't know who our quarterback coach going to be. We don't know who our linebacker coach going to be, D-line coach. It's, it's, it's things out there that we still got to put in place before we get to free agency, possible trades, possible cuts. That's, that's something that was talked about today, literally on Twitter. And you just don't know what you want to focus on. But it's one of them times where I just start to think about the broader scale. What do I want for the team this year? Like, what do I want? This is the reason why I threw this shirt on. You know, I'm a big Marvel fan. I watch, you know, I like the comic book stuff. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? And you see this team of assembled characters, you know, Avengers assemble and all that. They come together to create a strong force. You feel me? To defeat a common enemy. And last year, it seemed like our owners wanted to strip away the Avengers and see if just one or two Avengers can get the job done. And obviously we found out, no. No, you can't do that. You can't strip away six starters, not replace them with exact comparable parts, and hope for the best. Because you're going to get the results that you was hoping for. You know, and listening to CD, you heard the little clip before the video started. Add more weapons. You, you don't want to run out of ammo. Load the clip. Y'all remember the, the, the last scene in Endgame? Remember it? When dude said, you know what I'm saying, um, over your shoulder or whatever, and all the Avengers came out from like all the movies, and it was rolling my mad deep. That's what I want. Hearing CD say that, is, I feel like CD is a representation of our offense, of our locker room. Load the clip. Add more weapons. You think it's just him saying that? CeeDee Lamb is a receiver. Receivers don't even like sharing the ball. You feel me? But he understands it's a broader scale. We need to add weapons because we're trying to accomplish something greater than the divisional round. It's not scared around what we're trying to do. At the end of the day, I've said it all offseason because I can hear the people that Dak don't got enough, Dak makes this, and Dak, man... Google quarterback contracts. There's plenty of quarterbacks making the money Dak's making. This conversation is old. Those 10 teams, the nine players that's above Dak, all of them got weapons. People making more than Dak has more weapons than Dak. I'm not saying just go spend. I'm, whatever you got to do, trade, draft, but just don't ignore the problem. And that's what we did. We ignored the problem and act like it was going to just fix itself. We knew that Michael Gallup was not healthy. Me being half glass, half full guy, I was like, man, if he plays out of out of sight, no. He had moments like a player that was coming back off a torn ACL. I wanted Noah Brown to be more than he was. And no disrespect to Noah Brown, he's just Noah Brown. I wanted Semi Fuhoku to turn into something that he couldn't. Or he would have. I wanted Jalen Tolbert to come take the league by storm. Couldn't even get on the field. Now, hopefully this year he gets a better opportunity and can show me more things, but my point is add weapons. And there's going to be an assortment. Like every year you got the proposed free agents and then you got free agents that's going to come available because teams got to make cuts. You got to get under that cap. Go look at the teams that need to get under their cap. Look at the players that's making a little bit more money and then think to yourself, hmm. Because today one of the – look, player that – I'll ask you right now in the comments. Let me know. Would you take Keenan Allen on this team? Because he's supposed to be a cap casualty. Him and Khalil Mack. Load the clip. 
You see what Philadelphia did. You see what the Rams did. You see what the Bucks did. You see what teams before them did. They spent the money. You want premium results? You got to spend premium bread. It is what it is. But when I hear one of the team's leaders, and I'm going to say it right now, C.D. Lamb, is one. Of our, he's our receiving leader. He the head of that room now. And he's vocally saying, that's, that's a message to ownership. Hey, man, add weapons. Hey, you think C.D. Lamb don't got love for the people he played with last year? But he, it's just the truth is the truth. Get us a tight end that can stretch the scene. Let the young players say, see if they can do it. We're trying to improve on this offense, improve on this team. But you can't play around with it. Like I said, there's, there's plenty of receivers, veteran receivers. I want a veteran receiver and another maybe rookie or young receiver. I ain't playing with you. C.D. Lamb. Imagine C.D. Lamb and D-Hop. And then Michael Gallup can be the third receiver. One year, one year, A year or so removed from the injury. So he'll be even better. That's a legitimate trio. C.D. Lamb, D-Hop, Michael Gallup. C.D. Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Michael Gallup. C.D. Lamb, OBJ, Michael Gallup. C.D. Lamb, Keenan Allen, Michael Gallup. I'll take C.D. Lamb, DJ Chark, Michael Gallup. Like, get me another real receiver, a legitimate receiver that people got to respect. Don't just say Michael Gallup should be back. No, 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 no. I'm tired of should be nothing. Michael Gallup has slipped down to the you got to show me again stage. Before you were showing me, it looked crazy. But now I can't just believe you no more. This is the you got to show me year. It's not disrespect to the players. They just got to show me. Right? Go get me a veteran receiver. Go get me add more weapons. Ain't just receivers, though. We need a legitimate running back. Right now, because Tony Pollard got hurt, and I hate it, you can't just lean on he'll be exactly himself. We did that last year with Gallup. You have to have – he got hurt middle of the playoffs. You got to give Tony Pollard time to at least get back to himself. So you can't depend on him. And unfortunately right now, I'm going to just say and rip the bandaid off, you can't depend on Zeke. I hate saying it. I do. But it is what it is. We need a running back. Now, do we need to go get B. John Robinson? I don't even know if he's going to be there. But yeah. Or Gibbs. Or any other running backs y'all can put me on to in the comments. Now, I'm not saying go sign one. No, you draft a running back. But you get another legitimate running back in here. You bring back Tony on a reasonable deal. You stay with Malik Davis. Then you got your running back room. But the whole thing, the reason why I was talking about the Avengers earlier is you got to assemble an offensive arsenal. You can't play with it no more. The defense deserves that much. You got new play caller, Mike McCarthy, new offensive scheme personnel, Brian Scheinheimer. But you can't expect them to cook up a five-star dinner with no proper groceries. You got the chefs. You need the, you need the um, quarterback coach. But you got the chefs in place. Head coach, offensive coordinator. Get them some groceries so they can put, cook us up a five-star meal. Because right now, last year, you came, you came with dollar store ingredients. And that meal was trash. That's all I'm saying. I've seen Dak Prescott perform phenomenally with, with weapons. I'm talking about almost 5,000 yards, 37 touchdowns type stuff. Record-breaking 500-yard games, 400-yard game type stuff. When he got the right weapons. You took his weapons away, he started pressing. Let's get back to what we know. You ran your experiment. It ain't work out. We don't need weapons. Yes, we do. Now the question is just is, who? Y'all let me know in the comments who y'all want. D-Hop, Keenan Allen, Brandon Cooks, OBJ. Which receiver would you want? I know I just want weapons. I don't care. I want to load the clip. CeeDee Lamb said it. You can't have I don't want to run out of ammo. You can't have enough ammo. That's one of our best offensive players saying, go get us some more. And I co-signed that. I'll holler.